Hello everybody, this is Dimitri Skiriaku and this is a second tutorial on how to start adding interactive elements on the video that we have uploaded in our first tutorial. So we already have the video uploaded on Moodle with an H5P activity. So once we click on it, we have to move to edit settings. So that will take us to the settings of the activity and in the editor category, this is where we added the video in the first tutorial. We have to now move to step two, add interactions. By clicking that, you will get the video that you can start playing in front of you so you can identify some certain points where you want to stop the video and at the top you have the toolbar that you can drag and drop interactive elements at a certain point in the video. Now in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate the first five that there are no, um, they do not include so much interactivity in the sense of exercises. All right, there, um, there are interactive elements but some of them just are there for the student to consume information, not to interact with them. So what we can do is as the video plays, all right? So, all right, this is a very good point for me to add an interactive element. So what I'm gonna do is pick up the first one label and drag and drop it. So I wanna tell to my students, this is an important point. So I've dropped it there and I can specify where the um, that element should be displayed in the video. So at the moment, I stopped exactly where I wanted it, and I say, all right, it's on the 40th second, and you can see the additional metadata, we can delete that, and I want it to last for five seconds. So I can just stop here, erase that, and change it with 0 0.45. So that means the label I have just tracked and job on the video will be displayed on the 40th second and it will last for five seconds and then it will go away. Over here you have the option of pausing the video so once it's been added it will pause the video so the, the student has to pay attention to it and then they have to click play to continue the video. I'm not going to enable it now, I'm going to do it later on for another element and this is what do you want the label to show. All right, so you can say this is important, pay attention, for example. Or you wanna may want to say something to them that you will connect it to a previous lecture. Uh, you don't have a very much reach editor here, toolbar, options to enrich your, um, your text but you have some alignment options and you know the most important thing is the wording. By clicking done, we'll see that this has been added. You can of course drag and drop it anywhere you want it. Okay, and you can at any time click edit and go back to the settings for you to change any of the ones that we have just added. So this is on the 40th second and it will last for five seconds and I did not say for the video to be stopped. Therefore, once the video uh, reaches to the 40th second, this label will appear and the video will continue playing for five more seconds until this goes away. Okay, so let me just demonstrate it. So I can click save and display and we're gonna see it as the student will see it from their side. So if I click play, you can see that uh, I cannot jump forward to the video, so I have to watch it. So it's gonna go all the way to the 40th second. It was about here. So I'm, you know, the video goes on. I'm explaining some concepts of the lecture. And once the video reaches at a certain point, the student will observe this label appearing and pointing something to them. It's coming up. I would like to remind you that we cannot jump forward to the video. We can only go backwards 10 seconds at any time. 
you can see we're reaching the 40th second, that's the label, all right? And it lasts for five seconds and then it goes away, all right? It did not stop the video, it did not pause the video. So if I go back for 10 seconds, you can see again. So this is the point I want to emphasize to them that they have to click there. So bam, I'm, I'm throwing up a label for them so they can read it and after five seconds, it's gone. This is the first one. Let's go back to edit settings. And let me demonstrate how we add. Once again, in the category editor, we move on to step two, add interactions every time. We have to do that every time in order to go back and add some more interactions. The second thing we can do is add a text. We can add another label if we want to at any point of the video, but at this point, I'm gonna be adding a text. So let's say um, I want this to be shown at the start of the video. <clears throat> so I've drawn it there, dropped and dropped it, and I say, I want it to be there from the start of the video, that's the 0 0.00 seconds, and last for 10 seconds. Okay, and I'm gonna say, no, don't pause the video yet. So display as button and what should be the label displayed on this one? Important notice. And in this video, <clears throat> you are going to learn about blah, 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 blah. And the go on to click. So once they click on it, what will happen? You can set up the type to jump to a certain time code. So once they click on it, they may go on the one minute up to the video. Once they click done, this is how it looks like. So this is the important notice element. And once they click on it, it will uh, drop down and they will see this text. Okay, so. Let me point that out to you. Save and display. And you can see that it's there from the zero to second from the start. And it lasts for 10 seconds. So they have the option to interact with it in the first 10 seconds once they click on it. In this video, we're going to learn about blah, 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 blah. If they click on it, they're going to jump on the one minute mark on the video. It's optional if you want to add it. If not, just let them read what you have there for them. The third option that you can add on your video is a table. All right, so one, once again, I may leave the video to go on. I can change the location of that if I want to. I can center it. I can put it wherever I want on the video. And let's assume that on the 10 seconds, all right, so once this is gone, then I want a table to appear. It's going to demonstrate some information about the content of the lecture. So you can see here that I want it to appear on the 11th second and I want it to last for um, five seconds. But now I'm gonna pause the video. So once they see it, the video will be paused and they have to click play to continue the video recording. So it's like them reading it well, the information and not rushing to have to watch it before the video moves on to the 16th mark. 16 second mark. So we all receive it as a button. This is another option. I haven't used it. The label is what do you want the label to show? So once they click on it to expand, useful information. All right. And this is the title. This is metadata. So it's not shown to the uh, students. It's just for us. And here is where we define the uh, text of the table all right so i'm just going to delete that and you click on that option right there table and you specify 
how many rows and columns you want the, the table to, to have. Um, so I'm gonna set it to three rows and two columns. I'm gonna set as that. Yes, the first row will be a header and it will have also a caption. So cities and population. Relations. Click OK. You can see that it's been adding it. So I can say this is the city. This is the population column. Um, for example, Nicosia has 200k population, assuming sample data, and Limassol 150k. Once we click done, this is how it's going to be shown to the student on the 11th second of the video, and it's going to last for five seconds. So let's see it. I'm going to save and display. And we can see that once the video starts playing, once it reaches the 10th second, this will go away. And then on the 11th, the table will appear. There you have it. And the video is paused. See? So the, the, the student has to click play to continue the video. Or click on useful information and then have a look at the table that will have presenting some information at this certain point in the video. So once they click it, they just click play and on the 16th second, you will see that that entry will go away. There you are. Next one on our list is, so we go back to edit settings in the category editor, and then add interactions. And you can see you have a link. I'm going to just drop that. I'm just going to place it there. And I would say that I want that to appear on the um, 11 second once again and it lasts for 10 seconds. Okay? So the title of this link will be last week's. Sure. So this is the point of the video that I want to link with the previous week's lecture or with any other reading material. And protocol, blah, 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 www. Dot, and I'm just going to paste the link, right? So and now I'm just going to use Google. Visual is uh, to emphasize the link to the user. So if you want the students to pay attention to it, you can click the background color and shift it to maybe a, a red one. So I can click that red right there. And then click choose. So the link now will be in background color red. So they will definitely pay attention to it. So you can click done. Once we reach, if I play the video, so I can preview it here. Once it reaches the 11th second, we will see the entry for the table and we will also see the entry for the link. There you have it. All right? It paused the video because of the first one of the table, but that is an option as a link. All right? So um, let me proceed and ask if, if I continue playing the video, this will last for five seconds. This goes away, but this stays on until the 21th second mark, and then goes away. Last but not least, adding an image. So I can drag and drop an image. This one appears as a poster, so we'll also see this um, option. And let me set it up to appear between the 20th and 30th mark of the video. Again, you know better when to display what at a certain part of the video. You have to add the image, so I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna go to my pictures and add this sample picture right there. All right, and alternative text must be set. So say which one. 
hover text when the user hovers the mouse over the picture, what do you want them to, to see? So the picture is what I will display. Visuals don't need to do anything for the image, but go on and click. Once they click on it, what do you want to happen? So we have seen time code, which is to jump at a certain point in the video, back and forwards. I'm gonna click another page. So once they click on it, I'm gonna take them once again to youtube.com in this case. And if you click visualize, it will add an extra, there you are, an extra icon on the top left corner signifying that this is a clickable image. All right, so let's save and display and let's see what we have. So once we click play, you will see you have the important notice at the start of the video, which was just a text. If we click on it, we will jump on the one minute mark of the video. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna let it play. Then it goes away on the 10th second, but then on the 11th, we have two more. The video is paused. We have a table here, and we also have a link which if I click on it, takes me to google.com. And if I click play, we'll continue on the 16th mark. This entry will go away, but the link stays for until the 21th second. Then we also have the image, which is clickable, takes me to YouTube. But as you can see, if I hover the mouse over it, it says lovely picture. So these are the options. And by the way, on the 40th second, we have added the label. But this is very important, pay attention. So these are the first, we go back to edit settings. In the category editor, step two, add interactions. These are the first five elements that have some interaction but not as much as the rest of the options that we will see in the later tutorials that can be used for exercises. Thank you very much.